What is going on gangsters? Welcome back to Jake's Journey mate and today we're going to be fitting a massive rack. Also I'm trying to get the max air fan in. You guys are probably going to be learning with me on this one because I haven't got a flipping scooby man I swear it out. <laughs> I'm probably going to F it up. I've got to drill a big old limp roof. <laughs> It'll be fine. So today we're filming putting on the roof rack. It is an absolute beast. This thing here is a quarter of it, and it's huge. It's by Rhino UK, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting it on because it's an absolute beast of a unit. It's gonna make the vehicle look really badass, and I've not seen anyone else that's got them on the L4, so uh, I'm pretty buzzing to get this on. The only thing that we've got to take into account is, I've also got this to fit, and it's a Max Air Fan. Well, they pop up like so when turned on, and I need to sort of make sure that the roof rack's not going to interfere with it. So I'm going to get the first stage of that up there and make sure it doesn't overlap. If it does, I'm going to grind a bar out and hope that that fixes it. If not, we're in a bad place. <laughs> I've got to put these little brackets on first. I'm going to get up on the roof. There's like these little lugs here, which I think these sit on. Uh, no, rubber bands first. That sits over there. Just want to make sure it's all clean around here because once this contact bad goes on, it ain't ever coming off really. That is now both sides attached. I'm just gonna get the, uh, the front part of the rack up here now just to see what the sketch is. And with that, I'm gonna get the uh, roof fan up because I'm worried. I'm actually gonna open this Max Air fan now just because while I've got the rack over there, I wanna see if it fits while it's on the ground rather than getting it up there, getting this up there and realizing, oh shit, it doesn't fit. And then I have to bring it back down and grind a section out of it. This is the Max Air fan, but it's the small, so it's only 35 mil instead of 40 mil. Loads of people use 40 mil ones, but it actually fits onto uh, boxes, decatos, relays, uh, into that square a lot better. Uh, it's basically a square on the roof. Fits this a lot better than a uh, 40 mil one. I can see straight away that that's not gonna fit. I'm gonna fit it and then grind it out in situ. That was far too stressful for my, all my liking, so I'm <laughs> doing it on my own like that. So I'm gonna get up here, fit all the other brackets, and then get my dad uh, to give me a hand to lift these up, because that was too sketch, man. And I've scratched the van a little bit, which has really pissed me off, so. <laughs> Don't try and do everything on your own. Always seek help, people. I ended up just lifting another one up, because it's a lighter one, um, but it's just because I needed to see where those brackets go for this one. But I won't do any more now, I promise. Cue the next scene where I do another one. <laughs> just close up and personal, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. So, first things first, take a bit of rag, wipe around it, make sure that you've got no green gangly bits and horrible bits that are gonna stay there and rid it forever and uh, mess with your seal. You've then got your rubber seals in this bag. I'm gonna lay that down. My black sort of uh, anthrodized mount, sit that on, and then you sit this facing into there and it just clips onto the little U-hooks that you've got here and it sits like that. All you do then is just throw the bolt through it with a washer on first. And then all I've been doing is just to nip it up quickly, chuck my ratchet on this side and get the impact. I just do that to a certain point and then I just do the rest of it up by hand. I love it when a plan comes together. That is the rack on. Still needs bolting together on the side bits. The only thing that I'm not gonna bolt in is the front one because I'm gonna take that off to drill a hole and cut a bar out so I can fit the Max Air Fan in. Here's the Max Air Fan. I'm gonna take this up quickly now and see whereabouts and how it fits. I've just checked the uh, Max Air Fan against this gap here. I'm gonna move it out of the way and then I'm gonna grind this rack out. Safety first, mate. Woo! One side down, one to go. <laughs> so I'm just touching up now, painting in the bits where I've grinded off from the rack. Don't want them to rust and this will just prolong that from happening. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, mark out the circle, well, the square in Sharpie, 
uh, for the max air fan. So all I'm gonna do is line it up exactly where I want it and then draw a line with a Sharpie around it. And then when it comes to cutting it out, uh, drill a hole in each corner and then cut with your jigsaw or grinder on the outside of the line. Let's do that now. Measure twice and cut once. All that good fish. Now, if I take that away, you can see the line at the top and the bottom. I couldn't really get an accurate line along there because it like branches up a little bit for some reason. And all I'm gonna do now is go into the ceiling of the van up there and hang basically uh, a cover. So when I start drilling in and cutting in from the top, uh, it doesn't all just fall onto the seats and into the van and start burning stuff and getting like files everywhere because nobody wants that. Yeah, so I'm just gonna hang that. All I'm gonna do is just get some uh, tape and a bit of cardboard or some sheet or something like that and we'll be in a good place and then I'm gonna find the drill, find the jigsaw and get it all cut out. So what I've got there is the sheet hung down. I've just sort of taped it in a weird way. The only reason I've like taped it here so it's hung is so when I drill through, I can see uh, just clearly what I'm doing from the underneath when I come down to check it from up top. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm hoping this is everything we're gonna need. Drill, so we'll drill the holes out originally, grind it out, file them off, then we'll need some sandpaper, bend any burrs down that are in the way. It's all a bit mucky puppy. I'm gonna put some of this black tape around where I'm gonna be putting the putting the cuts in. Right, I think I'm ready to drill. So I'm just gonna get a drill bit and I think I'm gonna start off with smaller ones, probably that. I can't believe I'm about to drill a hole in the roof of my van. This is actually madness. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm actually cacking it, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm pooing myself. Let's go there. Oh my God, I can't believe I've just done that. That is fucking mad, bro. Oh, I'm scared. I'm actually scared. <laughs> well, there's no going back now. <laughs> Fucking hell. What I'm gonna do now is just get a bigger drill bit, make this rounded here, and then I'm just gonna go along with the drill and uh, cut an edge in, just so it's easier when I jump in with the grinder to just do a straight line through, and I know it's gonna be all right. I've got files, I've got stuff like that, so I can work the burrs off, and then while I go and collect the wood for the inside frame that goes from the underneath, and go and get sealant for this, I'll let the paint go off because I'll put paint around the outside to make sure it's all groovy. You see what it looks like from underneath now? <laughs> you wouldn't want that in the rain, would you? But yeah, drill all the holes through. I'm gonna get up there now with the grinder and cut that bitch out. I also forgot my eye protection, which is a bit fogged up. Or oh, is that scratched? That doesn't want to be scratched. I only opened these yesterday. Let's do it. And there we go. <laughs> I've got a big flipping hole in my van. <laughs> oh my god. This is so sketch. Should we see if it fits in? I hope it fits, man. I can't be able to start trying to file all this shit down and it being carnage. But it looks alright, to be honest. Not much of a lift. It's looking good. And there we go. <laughs> Perfect. It sits slightly proud in that corner, but it's only because. The roof's probably bent where I've uh, cut it out. Obviously, it's not got the full support of having that square in anymore. I'm just going to use this around the edges, burr all the horrible bits off. Come on, you got to do the standard one that everyone does with their head down. Out of hole. <laughs> the van looks great from up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I'm just gonna clean round here now. Make sure there's no dirty bits. And then I'm gonna wallop some paint on. Silver, but beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> just chilling, eating my lunch, watching Chris Howe, geezer, original fridge freezer. I painted that. I'm gonna finish this because I'm waiting for it to dry and stuff. I'm gonna head to Wix's and get some bits and bobs that I need to pick up, as well as wood to make the timber frame for that, the sealant as well. I actually have no idea what sealant I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna get there and try and find one that looks decent. Mate, we've got a few to uh, choose from. 
from here, but I think we're going to go with the CT1 put in white. Just got the wood for the outer bit. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Some screws and bits and bobs. And I thought while I was in there, because I was originally, I was like, I'm going to screw the wood like into the side of itself with long screws. And then I was like, well, when I come to do the screws through the top, they're going to hit those screws and then I'm going to be like big time in trouble. So I'm not going to do that now. So I bought like some little brackets. So I'm going to try that out and see how that works and use smaller grub screws. So the screws that go through the actual Max Air fan and into the wood through the metal of the van don't catch those. And then I don't end up like in real big trouble. Hi guys, so I went home for the weekend because I got it all, uh, basically I had to close up the shop here. Um, but yeah, basically what I did before I left was just put the brackets on here, uh, all the way across to the back. And I've not bolted these together yet because I'm gonna wait because I've got to take this front one off in order to fit the fan now. But let's finally get the fan fitted. It's been days for me, minutes for you. I've just got the lip that sits into the seal of the van and this is the brim that like sits down through the metal. So I've got to build a wooden frame around it like this. I've just marked it off with 4.5 centimeters aside for that one and that one. That's what it'll be because that's what that is, 4.5 centimeters. So then I can put a strut in between it there. So we've got a perfect square that sits around it. This will slip down through the metal of the van and then this frame will sit around it on the underside and then we'll drill down and screw through the metal of the van and screw through that, the metal of the van, and then into this wood. And then, Bob is your uncle, Fan is your aunt, and we're in a good place. Put my tea for the wedding ring in the movies. I'm not proud of my address. Where's my wood got on there? <laughs> what's the matter with you? Ah! Woo! Check that out. Check before you wreck, ladies and gents. That's looking smart, isn't it? Right, all I'm gonna go do now is get onto these edges, get them sanded out, get them looking saucy, and then I'm gonna start screwing it together. I bought these brackets, and they're basically gonna sit on there like that, and they can screw into those instead. And it means that I don't, and I'll use little grub screws. Because it doesn't need to be overly strong, it's gonna be sticker flexion screwed in by the main beam, so it's just support. So, we'll try that and see how it goes, but first let's sand. Yeah, sort of it, really. That is that done. Slide it off like so. And we've got our frame. As you can see there, all I've done is screw it in using those. And you can see why I've done it now. If I'd have put screws just coming in straight through the wood, then the screws that went through that plastic seal, through the metal and into that, would have then hit said screws. So I've just done it like that. I'll put the dimensions on screen now for this wood and the brackets, just a standard single bracket. I've just moved the front section of the roof rack out of the way just so I can get in and get a bit more accessible around the cutout of the square. So what I'm going to do now is put this into here like so. I'm about to seal up that god awful square that sits down into it and then I'm going to slot it in. I'm cacking myself, fully cacking it. I hope it goes well. Right, let's do it, let's do it, man. Right, cool. Basically, I'm gonna cut the nozzle off here, get that in there, uh, and then just slam it in this bad boy. Take one seam all the way around the edge, and then basically just keep doing it around these. It's the moment of truth, ladies and gents. Yeah. So, all, uh, all he's gonna do now is just run a bead of silicon on the inside. Just to, uh, better safe than sorry, innit? So, all I did here, having the metal already been pre-drilled, I went through with the screws, through the plastic, through the metal, and then into the wood. I was sure to do opposing corners with the screws, so it clamped around the bind evenly all around. All I'm gonna do now, a little bead on each bolt. Need to apologise for the noise, guys. But as you can see, I've just beaded around these bolts. Now I'm just gonna run my finger down and uh, try and wipe this lip off. So you can see I've put the beads on over the bolts here to give them a bit of weather protection and then sealed around the outside. I've run my finger with spit along the edges and that just stops it from sticking to your finger and gives you a smooth finish. So I've just wiped around the inside and that's all looking groovy now. So there's a, uh, a little view for you from the inside. I don't know if the white likes making it look crap or what, but it's looking pretty decent, man. Really nice, fine fit around the outside and that's all held in place and it's rigid. 
I'm gonna fit the front part of the roof rack now, clip it all together, and then sink in the rest of the Max Air that's over there on the floor. Just do a bit. Bolted together, looking groovy. Let's have a quick gander at it. <sighs> okay. So, there she is now, all bolted together and looking groovy. What I'm gonna do now is grab the Max Air fan, slot it into place and make sure it fits with the bar that we've got going across there. Otherwise, we're gonna run into a few dramas and it's not gonna be comfortable trying to sort this out. So, let's hope it fits. I can actually oh, grab onto this roof right now because it's all screwed down and bolted in. Right, this is the moment of proof because I'm absolutely cacking my pants about this and not fitting there. The thing that I'm worried about is the pivot lip that sits here that lets the fan go up. I'm catching on that. Please, 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 please be enough. Woo! Get them! That is perfect. Yo, Seb, fits perfect. Yeah, literally an, an inch. An inch? Oh, that's in. Oh, could it? Is it going to open or not? Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey! Yo, that's perfect. <laughs> it literally doesn't get any more perfect than that. Look at that. That is mint. Yang, take it down, please, Dad. That is perfect. Oh, mate. I am buzzing with that thing. You have to put a screw in there, there, and the same on the other side. But you can't put any pressure on to try and squidge it down to make the seal to then put them through. So what I did was undo the two screws that sit on the underside of this here, on the bracket, as you can see through there. Undid that so I could get my hand to the inside to try and push down and give it some pressure because without that, it wasn't happening. I then just used this little flathead Eki screwdriver to get in and sort of pry it down so it got into position so I could put the screws through into the relevant places. Grab this battery, put it on here, take the connectors off, positive, negative, all the normal good stuff, positive that side, negative that side, and then I've got these two wires here, white is negative and uh, black is positive. All I'm going to use is a little bit of tape just to uh, stick these down onto the battery for a second. See, this should make a little flash now when I touch it, which I'm hoping it will. Did you hear that? That worked, that did. That flipping worked, mate. That's what that was right there. What just happened? Oh, mate. Ah! <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Bro, look at it. It's working. Yo, I feel like I've just discovered fire, man. Bro, that is what I'm talking about, man. Yes. Jesus. Bro. <laughs> Yo, turbo fan. That is madness. That is genuine madness. Turn it down a bit. Put it onto a light one. Bro, that's sick as. You can set the temperature. You can set all this mad stuff. In, out. You can decide whether it's in or out. So I guess it stopped, goes the other way. See that? I don't know which way that is at the minute. Yeah, that's push. That's pushing cold, uh, that's pushing cold air in. The oven's gonna be there and like the hob and stuff. So side window, slide it open, get that and it's pushing all the air out. Mate, that's mint. You're gonna be able to cook bacon and all sorts of mad stuff without it making a making a drama. Let's press it again. And as I press it, it closes, I think. So let's check. Yeah. Fan turns off and it closes down like that. Mate, that's so good. I'm literally so impressed with this. If you are thinking about getting a Peugeot Boxer, Fiat Picanto, or Citroen Relay, and you wanna get one of these long ass racks on it, just know all you've gotta do is cut out the center bar of the segment of the rack on the front portion and get a 350 mil by 350 mil Max Air fan. And if you get it right, you've got that perfect gap 
and it works mint. Oh mate, I'm so buzzing with that. That's what it is, it's the 350mm by 350mm. The standard one that people tend to use is the 400mm by 400mm, uh, and that's a smaller one because when I measured the little sort of base that you get here in the front of these vehicles, uh, whether it be a Takato, uh, a Relay, or a Boxer like this, these 350mm ones fit a lot better than the 400s, and it means that you can have the rack in the way like that. Yeah, you're losing five centimeters of circumference when it comes to having an open space and hole, but it lets a decent amount of light in. I did go with the fogged one, so at night it's not just blaring light out if you have the clear one, uh, or if you have your, the black one, you don't get any light in during the day. So I think that's a good trade-off, really, and it is the same sort of tint as the windows will be. But yeah, man, hooked up, good to go. That is the roof rack fitted, which is looking like an absolute beast. It is the L4 Peugeot Boxer roof rack that sits on like that and it looks mint the amount of stuff we're gonna be able to get up there including solar canoes bits and bobs and all that sort of stuff and i think it just adds to the height the overall badassness of the van once the tires and the wheels are on it's going to really come into shape and i am fully loving that man it's looking so good and i don't know if you can tell here but if we have a quick look next to it directly there is a medium wheelbase vw crafter so the boxer even with the rack on is still lower than the crafter, which is great. Not that you're gonna get under any height barriers anyway, but look at that beast. And that's the side view of the rack. And you can't even see from down here that there's a roof fan on there. I've also got this, which is what comes on it. And that basically just sits into place up on there, up in a roundabout kind of way. That's just a fly net that sits over with those four catches, the, uh, the fan itself, which means you don't get any flies coming in down through there or in or out and all that sort of good stuff and it just makes it look a little bit neater and tidier all the uh, lining of the ceiling will go up to this and then you put this base over it that sits into it quite nicely and sits as like an underframe i suppose that wraps it up guys it's absolute madness i'm so impressed with it thank you so much for watching and that's what it is fitting uh, a rhino roof rack and max air fan uh, 350mm to a Peugeot boxer relay or decato and uh that's it, all nipped, all done, all dusted. Look forward to next week where we're gonna be fitting some windows and you'll get to see the sort of, we're going for a little bit of a non-conventional window layout, which I'm really looking forward to getting fit in. And uh, I've not seen any people do it like that really. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And also check me down below out on Patreon. Been a pleasure, one love gangsters. I will see you next week.